What's up, y'all? It's Lionel back again with another video. And I just wrapped up a JavaScript video. And I just wanted to take some time to come back and to thank you guys. Thank the community. Shout out to Adrian. Shout out to Ayo Hassan. Shout out to Ethan. You know what I mean? All of the builders who have came here since day one and joined the community, been active, made a name for themselves within the community. We are still rolling on day... 20 i believe it is of posting every day yo it's gotten to the point where now i don't even think about it it's not a struggle no more this is just how we live over here you know what i mean and i'm glad that i could spread that vibe around uh to you guys because it's all about us motivating each other and doing what it takes to become a better digital builder i've been working with chat gpt about finding the like identity of our group so you guys are going to see a little bit of changes in the branding. But today, I just wanted to speak to all of y'all on what it means to be a self-taught um, person learning how to code on their own. Or shit, even if you are in a boot camp or getting your computer science degree, I still feel that these tips will help each person. And it's a... God, that... Bro, it's that time of day when I can't really do anything in here because of the glare. But it also kind of looks cool at the same time. It's like, oh. But um, I'm saying that, you know, motivation. This is motivation for my self-taught developers out there, for the people who don't have a boss or a teacher on them. When you talking about teaching yourself, it depends on who you are as a person and where you came from and what you have been through. But there's a lot of tips that I can give because I'm still in it. I'm still in the fire every day. You know what I mean? It's not like I've graduated to now where I'm not one of you guys and I'm just a wise teacher reaching down. No, that's not it at all. A big reason why I make these videos every single day is because I truly believe we have to have these systems set in place that keep us at the true north, that keep us headed to where we want to go. And with these systems, I truly believe that we cannot fail. I created the group, the Digital Builders, for this to hold our accountability. That reminds me to make my end of the week check-in um, video. I'm going to do that, not video, post into the school, which y'all should join. Link will be in the description, in the description for you to join the Digital Builders. We have a Discord, we have a school community, and it's growing. But the school will be closed at 100. Um, no more free entries after 100. I just found out that you actually have to pay for your school.com group. And our free trial is almost up. But think about that. We made it to 70 members and within the amount of the free trial. Now I have a decision to make. Am I going to charge everybody $1? Because <laughs> it's $100 a month. If I charge everybody $1, my 100 members will pay for that. So... That may, that may be coming soon. It's just a dollar. But um, motivation, right? When you're learning how to code on your own, for one, you have to code every day. You have to, and coding every day doesn't mean just opening up a Visual Studio code and typing anything, you know. Practice, study, learn, give yourself the opportunity to sink in some of these concepts that you're learning. Um, if you did follow a tutorial, now take your code, highlight anything that you don't understand within that template, paste it within ChatGPT and chill and read about it. You know, make yourself some tea so that you're comfortable. Also, the Pomodoro technique is hugely, hugely beneficial when you're trying to um, learn how to code on your own. And that's where you choose either 50 minutes with a 10 minute break or 25 with a five minute break. You set the timer, you go on YouTube and you'll find like a cool lo-fi playlist to play with it. And you just let that rock. And then it's cool because at that point you are, uh, you're working against the clock. And for me, I'll be like, oh no, I got 20 minutes left. Here, let me lock in. Let me lock in and let me, um, let me finish this. Let me do a little bit more work. Um, and then before you know it, you're, you're going to turn around after a month of doing this type of stuff every single day. You're going to turn around and you're going to watch a video that you watched 
back in the past that you didn't understand and just everything will click more for you at that point. More motivation. Obviously, you have to be healthy. You know, this is going to get into like into like self-development tips in general, right? Because you have to look at what you're eating, look at how well you are sleeping, look at the type of um, input. If, if your, your body is the variable, you know, or the object, what type of input are you putting into it, into your mental, when you are going to chill? What type of things are you watching? What type of music even are you listening to? You know, I don't wanna, wanna go too deep on that, but that is a huge part to becoming a self-taught person because it takes a certain level of mental clarity and mental like resilience um but but with the proper systems like i would say develop a system where you do a certain thing every single day like for me just just to give an example every day when i wake up i drink two bottles of water immediately just to make sure, because I have a hard time remembering to drink water. I feel like at this point, I drink more coffee than water. And I just found out that you're actually supposed to drink like your, um, whatever your weight is, you're supposed to drink that within ounces of water. So I drink 32 at the beginning of the day, uh, two bottles, just to get a little head start. And I know I'm probably dehydrated from last night. And if I don't do it as soon as I wake up, I'm probably, I'm going to just make coffee and then not even remember to drink water again. So that's the first thing that I do. And then I run up and down my stairs 10 times to get cardio. Because other than that, there's literally no reason for me to run. I don't go to the gym. But I do calisthenics, like a uh, home workout. I do push-ups every day, like at least 35 to 40 you know, push-ups. I'm trying to work my way up to 50. But every day I do at least 35 push-ups. And this is just to get the blood bo boiling, man. We're going to be sitting at our computer for so long. And I remember back in the day... My back used to hurt when I was sitting at the computer. I started doing these like these back exercises um, at home stuff where you take a towel, you tie it into a knot and you loop it over your door and you just hold it and you hang and you stretch and you pull. My back doesn't hurt anymore. I could sit at my computer all day without my back hurting. Knock on wood, you know, at least for now. <laughs> but um, yeah, fruit, of course. I always got like some kind of blackberries or something around, some kind of healthy snack, granola, you know what I mean? I used to fast, but all of these things incorporate into you learning how to code every day because it's really a mental struggle more than anything, man. Especially this these, this year, right? This year that we're living in. We have these phones with all of these different notifications and all of these apps have been tailored to take our attention away and to something that we don't necessarily, that's just entertaining us, just dopamine. So you're trying to literally wrestle your mind under control, back out all of these different apps that are trying to get you and use it to self-develop yourself, adding a skill, unlocking a skill to yourself. This is gonna be, have to be a every single day struggle at least after you do something for the day you can you could check it off on your board and you can relax you can then go chill go play video games because think about how much your life is going to be different with you doing a year of that with you doing a year of making sure that you made some type of time to work towards yourself to work towards learning how to code right again i made the um i made the new year's resolution for myself to do this right last not this year at this point i'm already i'm already here at least where i don't know how to think about it but i remember last december 2022 december i had like a dream or a revelation or a light bulb went off something went off and i told my girl damn this is it my life is really about to change like i'm really about to change my life i was truck driving at the time i was addicted to like candy at the time right because of truck driving truck drivers get snacks it was just a part of a gig i would drive and i would eat i would drive and i would snack right and i was so addicted like whenever i went past a 7-eleven or someplace that i knew had some like 
Sour Patch Kids or something that I really liked, I would want to stop and get it. It's so it's so funny to think about it now. How now that I'm off that right, but it was December and I was like, I was a little sad because I knew that it was over and I was gonna miss this stuff. I wasn't gonna be able to be the Lionel that just doesn't care anymore, you know, because I had all of these things that I knew I'm now ready to do, and. So that December, I remember I smoked a whole bunch, you know, I smoked, I drank, I ate all the candy I could because at that New Year's resolution, I made the change. I cut that, cut it all out, started coding and learning every day, dedicated myself. I fasted for a while. I cleansed everything. I started doing the um, keto diet for a while, which I actually, I need to restart that now. But um, I definitely got my diet right. I definitely started working out. I definitely started coding every day. I definitely started learning every day. I definitely started being careful to even like the music I listen to, the shows I watch and everything like that. And then it blew my mind when halfway through the year or like four months in, five months in, I was like, wow, I'm still doing it. I'm still on it. I started getting clients. I kept pushing, I kept pushing. I kept I kept learning. I kept improving my skills. I'm still like that to this day. Towards the end of the year, I got hired in November, I believe, which that was my goal. The reason why I was making that change is because I wanted to break into tech by the end of the year. I actually did it. It was a huge moment for me, a huge like um celebration for me and then you know a couple months later i started this group so that i could help people but also help myself because i'm the type of person who if i win the game i need to set a new goal or else it's gonna get boring to me soon and then i'm gonna like quit and want to do something else i have adhd and the way that mine affects me is i'm like a hopper i'll do a job for a year and hop to another job and hop to another job or, you know, I'm really like that just with everything, right? And <laughs> that's why it's a miracle. I always tell my girl it's a miracle that we've been together as long as we have been together. Because, you know, I'm such a, like, hopper, hopper around type of person. But um, we, like, yeah. So I started the Digital Builders as another goal to set for myself to dedicate. But then it also circled back to my original goal and it's making me a better developer every day as I strive to improve my skills and to motivate my community around me. You know, and I'm coming up with a little bit of lore for us too, because for one, I've noticed it's all dudes in there. You know, it's like 95 dudes that are um, similar to me. And I believe that, you know, I'm resonating with a certain group of people. so. I'm starting to feel freedom to come out with like the real vision of the builders, which if for some reason you, you stumbled across this and you don't know about us. And if I forgot to explain that yet, I have a school community, a group that I created to help people learn how to code, to pull people out of tutorial hell, give them some skills, teach them how to network and how to build inside the real world, get their portfolios made, get them out of doing courses, out of doing lessons, get portfolios made, and then we're going to disperse into the, the communities, wherever you are. You're gonna, we're gonna find maybe even builders, if y'all if you see you're in the same city, maybe y'all can link up and build something. You're gonna search for meetups, for JavaScript meetups, for coding meetups, and if there isn't one, we're gonna create our own. I'm gonna give you guys a template how to create our own i'm gonna tell you I'll, I'll sit down with you we'll look at what city you are in we'll look at what is your best option to get a hackathon going which is this is gonna increase your opportunities of freelancing and stuff and make coding more fun we're turning life into a video game and you are the character and we are going to stop feeling like we are at effect of life where these things are happening to us and realize that all we need to do is add more variables to our equation in order to see the results that we want to see right 
what we're not going to do is just do courses from our house and then apply to the same stuff that everybody else is applying online. We can do more than that. We're going to do everything that we can. We're going to set this goal and we're going to work at it every single day together with each other's help, you know, inspiring each other, being active with each other, communicating, motivating each other and showing each other what we built, critiquing each other, looking at each other's portfolios and saying, mm, you could change this, you could change that, you know, and as we start to get jobs, my dream is to when jobs are opening up positions, when freelance opportunities are arriving, right there inside our community, we will have a group of people to tap into, right? A group of people to, um, to, to point guard and pass stuff around. Like only one man can only do so much by himself, right? And then imagine if one day when we grow big enough, we have a conference in Vegas where all of the, the builders link up and they meet up. You know, I'm really on some like fight club mindset with this, you know, and I, I see I see it going a lot farther than it is right now. Granted, we are off to an incredible start. You know, when I made my first video, I said I was only expecting to help three people. The reason was, of that was because I come from 100 devs. And what Leon Noel always said was that at the end, all I ask for you is when you get your job, all I ask is that you turn around and help three people. And I'm like, I don't know three people. Let me make a YouTube video. I told my story. It ended up getting, I think it's at 14,000 views right now. And I said, well, then shoot, I'm gonna help 100 people then. Started the Digital Builders. It's gonna be open until we reach 100. Um, our Discord will always be there, available for you to join for free. Um, and that's already past 100 people. It's at like 170. So you could just hop in there if you want. But for the ones who are into the school, that's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm gonna give the most like attention to and the most like, you know, trying to really, really, trying to really like, trying to really deploy the real strategy, you know, of what I think is going to build their personal brand up in their community, in their LinkedIn. The people around your neighborhood and your city need to know who you are and that you are a developer. Even if most of us are introverted, you can be an introverted person and you could still do this because this is where your opportunity is going to come from. This is where we're going to be able to build things into reality, you know, that's what I look at us as builders. That's what we do. We help people's ideas turn come here to the physical realm through digital means, you know, through the computer. But yeah, I, I didn't. Oh, I wanted this to be 15 minutes. We're almost at 20. So and I, and I did kind of like ADHD this a little bit. What was we even talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Motivation. <coughs> For self for self taught devs, um, yeah, every day, bro, every single day. This is what we're gonna do. We're not fucking around, man. Time waits for no one. You know, it's not okay. <laughs> Sometimes it is, but you should still feel bad about it. Take a day off, sure. If you're not ready yet, if you're not ready for that full commitment, take a day off. But just know, you ain't even need that, bro. You didn't need that day off. At least get it done at least get your little thing done and then celebrate and then go chill you know but and then with that with this mindset and with this plan i don't think there's no way that we could lose unless unless we give up it reminds me of crypto it's not an l till you sell <laughs> but that's it man right now i'm probably about to um do some more stuff i'm looking at my whiteboard we got a lot planned Bro, we got a lot going on. Um, join the community. Shout out to everybody. And I'll see y'all very soon. Peace.